Ashley Gardner, the owner of Pinot's Palette Bricktown, and this is Pour Yourself a Masterpiece, your insider guide to painting, drinking, and having fun. On today's episode, in light of all of our New Year's resolutions, I'm going to walk you step by step through how to make a really easy, really delicious cheese ball that has four times the protein and half the fat. So you're going to love it. And with all of our classes here at Pinot's Palette, you're always welcome to bring in anything you want to snack on. We always recommend finger foods, so this cheese ball will be absolutely perfect for you to bring to your next class. So to get started, I am using a Greek yogurt cream cheese. And I have two blocks of this cream cheese that's already softened. You definitely want to make sure it has softened before you begin. I'm just going to put this into my mixing bowl. And the next thing I'm going to add is some green onions. Now you want to use about five to six green onions and cut it up pretty small. And uh, you want to use the whites of the green onions as well as the chives. Uh, the next thing I'm going to add is our seasonings. So I have some Dijon mustard here and I'm going to use one tablespoon of Dijon mustard and put that in there. And then the next thing I'm going to use will be some seasonings. So we have Mrs. Dash here, and uh, this has zero calories, but it is full of flavor. So I'm going to use three tablespoons of this. There we go. And then the next thing I'm going to use is half a teaspoon of some onion powder. We'll just take this little lid off. Toss that right in. And then I'm going to mix it up. And it's not gonna to be too difficult that you should be able to do this with a spoon since your cream cheese is already softened. So while I do this, I wanna tell you about our New Year's resolution here at Pinot's Palette. For the entire year of 2017, we are encouraging all of our customers to be bold. Really think outside the box, try something new, venture out to do something maybe you've never done before, maybe you've never taken a painting class before. With all of our painting classes, we are going to guide you step by step through every single process of the painting. And by the end of the night, you're gonna have a painting that is beautiful and unique, and you'll get to take it home that night. And throughout the month of January, if you change up your painting to maybe fit your own home decor, or fit your own colors, or add something new to the painting, we are doing a drawing every night for anybody that changes up their painting and the winners will win free Pinot's Palette prizes. So it's so much fun, you're going to love it. Um, once I have this all mixed up, I already have a piece of uh, plastic wrap here in front of me and I'm just going to spoon this mixture onto my plastic wrap. So the ingredients, super easy. And with the seasonings you add, you can also always change it up. Maybe you want something a little bit spicier or something a little bit more savory. Uh, with my Mrs. Dash seasoning, I used the table blend, uh, but there are so many other seasonings that you can use as well. Once you have your cream cheese mixture spooned out onto your plastic wrap, then we're just going to form the plastic wrap over this and form it into a ball. Super, super easy. And once you have it into a ball, you wanna put it into the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. And uh, when we come back, I'll show you how to finish this off. All right, so our cheese ball has been sitting in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. 
And now what we're going to do to finish it off is take it out of the saran wrap. This can be a little bit messy. And I am going to just put it into a clean bowl. And then we're going to top it with some sliced almonds. So I have my little bowl of almonds here. And then I'm just going to kind of roll my cheese ball around to get the almonds on there. Then I'm going to put it right on my platter. Like I said, this is a little messy. And for any of the blank spots that didn't get any almonds, you can go back and kind of put those on there, form it to be just perfect. And there you have it. And today I'm serving this cheese ball with some carrots and celery. And now let's give this a little try. Mmm, that's really good. You're really gonna like that. Half the fat, four times the protein, and an awesome recipe to bring to your next class here at Pinot's Palette. So be sure to check out our calendar of all of our amazing upcoming classes we have planned for you. And you want to go to pinospalette.com slash bricktown and to check up on past episodes and future episodes of Pour Yourself a Masterpiece, you want to go to pinospalette.com slash bricktown slash blog. Thank you so much for joining me and we look forward to painting, drinking, and having fun with you soon.